everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a holiday gift guide. Now today's holiday gift guide is in collaboration with Abby from Rooted and Rest. She is gonna be sharing a gift guide on her channel as well. Make sure you check it out. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it because I'm sure she has tons of really awesome stuff for you guys. Last year, because I really wanted you guys to be spending your money on those things that had longevity, right? That you could use for a very long time or get the biggest bang for your buck. I shared a video of our top 10 gifts. So I'm going to link that up here for you guys. If you're just looking for like our top 10 overall gifts, the things that we have bought over and over or the gifts that have stood the test of time, like just the things that we love in our homeschool and our home and like have lasted forever. This year, I have kind of met a new struggle in our home personally, and it's that as Emily gets older, I don't find gift buying quite as easy or simple, and I'm sure it's gonna be even worse when she hits her teen years, but she's just kind of in this in-between stage right now where she's like, not a baby anymore, doesn't really need baby gifts, but she also isn't old enough yet to, well, don't get me wrong, she has asked for something kind of expensive this year, but she doesn't like want a phone yet, right? So. There's just kind of this, we're in this in-between year. So what I really, really sought out this year, what I really, really was looking for in gifts are things that would be gifts that kept giving. Like one's not that she just opened and played with or did something with for a day or two, but those gifts that kind of like kept giving over and over that you could use all year long that really kind of sparked an interest or could potentially light a fire in her. Something that would be maybe something she pursued on her own, even way outside of the holiday season. And so I really sought after those kinds of gifts. And then I went back through our house and our home and I pulled gifts that I felt had already done that for ideas for you. And so that's what I'm going to share with you today. I have about, I think 15 gifts that I feel like are gifts that keep giving ones that, you know, you can use long after the holiday season is over and ones that I really feel like will help spark an interest. Now, obviously not everyone is going to spark an interest in your kid, but it'd be a really great way if you pick the right one to spark an interest and who knows where that spark could lead or what flame it might light a fire. So the first thing that I am going to share are these Lego books. Now these aren't just Lego idea books. These are Lego books that come with specialty Legos that also have different ideas as well as things that you can build on. So this one is chain reaction. So you are physically learning how to build things that move with Legos. So it is a great way to learn how to do more with the Legos you already have um, and also learn more. And by doing that, you could go further, like I said, with the Legos you already have. So you could be sparking an interest in who knows what with something like this. And these are relatively affordable. That one is Chain Reactions. This one is Gearbots. There are tons of other ones made by a Lego that you could look up depending on, you know, if there's a specific movement your kid is interested in or something kind of specific they want to learn about. But I really think those are a great way to get your child to be creative, kind of get them to think about things that they already own in just a little bit of a different way and really extend what you already have and by, you know, reusing it over and over and over. So you're not just adding to it. You're giving them a gift that's going to spark an interest, light a fire, and then kind of reuse things that you already probably have in your house, which are Legos, because let's be honest, we all have a ton of them. So those are my first suggestion. My second suggestion is this is one that actually Emily has loved and we've almost finished it. Science kits like this, ones that are just phenomenal that have tons of different things. This has 45 easy science experiments, comes with almost everything you need inside. It is by National Geographic, which is high quality and we absolutely love everything they make. One of the main things that we really, really love about them is they always come with these really fantastic booklets that not only tell you the experiment, but have very good details on why it did it and what it did. Now, this one even comes with bonus science experiments that you can do at home again with that same level of quality. So this is one of those things, I mean, with 45 plus experiments, you could spend 
a whole year enjoying these. I mean, if you just did about one a week, that's almost a full year of enjoying science experiments. And again, who knows what that could spark? Maybe your kid falls in love with science or chemistry and then ends up in a scientific career or down a rabbit trail that you never knew was going to happen if you hadn't have gotten that gift. Another one, if you have a kid who likes science, but is also like really girly, like Emily is, is this bath bomb. So this spa lab bath bombs, the kids get to make their own bath bombs and they get to, you know, use all the different ingredients and colors. And they're making things like pop bombs and shooting stars and sparkly geodes. So it's a really fun way to kind of start doing some fun um, self-care for themselves along with science. And who knows, this could even spark a small at-home business. I mean, maybe your kid falls in love with it and they end up wanting to make bath bombs or something to sell, or maybe they want to give them as gifts. It's kind of that thing that keeps on giving. And once you've used this whole kit, you can easily replace pieces and parts of it to continue to make them, you know, even longer. And I just really like that. I like that most of these gifts are giving, you can use them to give, you can use them to spark a fire and they're just not junk. I just really want to get away from junk. If you can't tell this year, the next thing that we have loved in our home and that I'm actually gifting this year is a curious chef set. Now, obviously you don't need the 27 piece set, but the curious chef brand is fantastic for kids, especially if you have one that wants to get in the kitchen, wants to be independent, wants to help more. They have kids safe knives that they can use to actually really cut. Um, their aprons are high quality. I mean, everything about them. We have loved everything curious chef we have ever gotten. And it has really helped Emily get in the kitchen and not only get in the kitchen, but be willing to eat more things or try to eat more things and be open to it because she has helped prepare and make it. So I really highly suggest, you know, a full set like this, although it doesn't have to be this one, but this set comes with all of your mixing and measuring and utensils and an apron and a hat and kind of a little bit of everything. So if you have a kid with interest in the kitchen or maybe even a picky eater something like that would be perfect for them because again if they get into the kitchen they're probably more likely to try what they actually make now this gift is a gift that we will be giving this year um, and it's a gift after my personal heart you guys have not been around very long you might not know i was am at one point in my past life a photographer um, i did it for years and i loved it so if you have a budding photographer on your hands or you have somebody who maybe just likes to really kind of document those memories these little intex or insects uh, cameras are adorable so this is the mini polaroid camera you know the more updated one and i bought the bundle so that it would come with the case and some extra things to film and i just think it's kind of a fun way especially for kids because they get that instant gratification so they don't have to wait to load it to a computer or you know see if the picture was what uh, was good you're not giving them a screen so you know they're off screen while doing it it's just kind of instant gratification they can take the picture they can see if it turned out um, and again, you could be sparking that interest, a love of photography, which is something I would love to do in any kid that I meet because I love photography. And this bundle was relatively affordable as far as a camera is concerned. Um, I mean, cameras can be quite pricey and it is a really, really great way, even for young kids to just get involved. Because like I said, they get that instant gratification. They can instantly see if it was a good or a bad picture. A another kind of hobbyist thing that we have loved in our homeschool is a rock tumbler. Now this is the hobby edition. There are many editions out there. I think this was the most affordable one. Um, and if you have a kid who like Emily is somebody who's constantly coming home with rocks in their pockets. This is kind of a fun way because you can turn rough rocks into polished gems. You can dive deep into learning more about them. I mean, it's loud. It is loud. So try to do it somewhere, not where you're going to have to listen to it. A garage, a porch. It's loud. There's your warning. But 
it is really, really fun. Okay, this one is one I was super excited about when I found it, and it is a junior pottery studio. So this includes the pottery machine with the pedal, power adapter, the clay, sculpting tools, everything you would need. Again, like I said, I'm really, really trying to give those gifts that would keep giving, and this is something that would do that. They would be able to keep making pottery over and over and over by just buying more clay. It's not something that they could just like use up or get kind of sick and tired of. And not only does it keep giving in that sense, it would keep giving because they could literally be giving their pottery away. So they can make pottery and give it to friends and family. And I just feel like that is such a good gift. The next thing I have is the snap circuits. Now we have tons of experience with snap circuits. We love them all. And this one is one of their little I guess a little bit more expensive sets. However, this isn't just snap circuits. This is snap circuits combined with coding. So for that person in your life who maybe has done snap circuits for a while or who is interested in coding, but doesn't necessarily want, you know, the little robot that we all have seen and know and love, or maybe don't love, this kind of gives them the best of both worlds. So they get to build the snap circuit and then they get to code it. So again, that gift that they can use over and over and over because there's multiple different things. I want to say it was like a hundred plus different combinations of things you could make with this. Let's see if I can find it. I don't see it on her, but it was a ton of different things that you can make. You can control up to five different circuit paths at a time. Um, it has 30 different parts. So there's just so many different options, different combinations that you could do and something you could spend months on and never have done them all. Um, and you're learning valuable skills with circuits and coding. And I mean, in this day and age, you're gonna need that for almost everything that you do in life. So I was really, really excited to find this particular one, but we own probably eight plus snap circuit sets and have never been disappointed by any of them. So I am not worried about that at all. One of the other things that I picked up was a 3D doodler. Now we, again, don't have experience with this one personally, um, but I have seen the 3D doodlers all over and it just seems like such a fun way to bring a two dimensional thing to life and make it 3D. So I think for any kid who's into art or any kind of like doodling or tinkering, this is a perfect gift. We will be giving this one this year as well to a kid in our life. And I'm really, really excited about it because I think they're going to love it. And I love that they can create with it. They can create anything. Literally their brain is the limit when it comes to that. Now we have owned many different microscopes over the course of our homeschool career, but this is kind of the one that has been the staple in our homeschool. It is a dual microscope. I don't know if you have kids, but especially kids with eyeglasses like Emily, she struggles with trying to close one eye and look through a microscope sometimes. This being a dual one makes it easier and it is kind of a full kit. It is comes completely prepared. So it has slides ready for you. It has 50 more, 50 or more accessories. It has, you know, all the different optical lenses. It really was a fantastic way to kind of get started in the world of microscopes and microscopic things. So if you are looking for maybe a starter set or just something that's already ready for you, I mean, we have a more expensive one now, but honestly, this really was and still is being used in our homeschool today because like I said, the dual eyepiece is key for certain kids and Emily is one of those kids. And the last thing I have for you is a household sewing machine. Now this is kind of like a mini sewing machine that is definitely smaller for kids. I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. I have no clue how to sew. Kevin has to sew everything in our household um, and that's only because he learned it when he was in basic training or else we would be in deep, deep trouble when something like ripped in our house because nobody would know how to sew otherwise. But he can hand sew pretty well. He has a sewing machine. It actually recently broke. And so when we were looking at buying new sewing machines, I said, you know what? Why don't I just buy a kid's one? It'll do the basic, you know, stitches that you need. But then Emily, it also would give her kind of the accessibility to it so that she can start learning how to sew, which is something that she was really, really excited about. And seeing how excited she was is what made me realize how great of a gift this would be for kids because it's again that thing that can keep giving they can keep creating things they can give the things that they make um, or create away they can keep creating over and over and over because it doesn't run out you know as long as you get more material you can keep creating and making with it and again 
you could be sparking an interest or a fire in an entire entrepreneurial line of business because maybe they end up being a designer of some kind or maybe they wanna sell the things that they've made. So that is really what my goal was with this gift guide, to show you guys some stuff that I feel like are gifts that keep giving, the gifts that aren't junk, ones that are gonna last way beyond the you know span of most holiday gifts, and ones that could potentially spark a fire of interest in your kid, something that they may want to do maybe even for a career for the rest of their life. I hope you enjoyed this year's gift guide. Don't forget to check out Abby's video where I'm sure she gave you a ton of gift ideas. Before I go though, I have a huge surprise for you. Abby and I are partnering together to give away $500 worth of gifts. We're going to be giving away a $250 Amazon gift card as well as a $250 Usborne gift card. That means you can buy $500 worth of gifts for your kids. Just check the description box for the link. It'll have all of the information on how to enter and what you need to do to enter. And while you're down there, don't forget to click on some of the other links like the 100 educational gift ideas, 100 educational stocking ideas, gifts for the whole family, and even some ideas for gifts for the homeschool mom in case you need some ideas to give the people in your life.